Hello and welcome to my channel, where I review and summarize the best books on personal development, psychology, and success. Today, I'm going to talk about one of the most influential books on self-esteem ever written, The Six Pillars of Self-Esteem by Nathaniel Brandon. Nathaniel Brandon is widely regarded as the father of the modern self-esteem movement. He is a psychotherapist, philosopher, and author of more than 20 books on various topics related to human potential and well-being. He has worked with thousands of clients and students over the course of his career and has developed a comprehensive theory and practice of self-esteem enhancement. The Six Pillars of Self-Esteem is his magnum opus, where he presents the culmination of his decades of research and observation on the nature and importance of self-esteem. He defines self-esteem as the disposition to experience oneself as being competent to cope with the basic challenges of life and as being worthy of happiness. He argues that self-esteem is not a gift that we receive from others, but a skill that we can learn and cultivate through conscious action. In this book, he identifies and explains the six essential practices that are necessary for building and maintaining a healthy sense of self. These are 1. Living consciously. This means being aware of what we are doing, why we are doing it, and how it affects ourselves and others. It also means seeking feedback, learning from experience, and correcting our errors. To build this practice, Brandon suggests the following tips. Set aside some time every day to reflect on your actions, thoughts, feelings, and goals. Write them down in a journal or talk to someone you trust. Ask yourself questions such as, What am I doing? Why am I doing it? What are the consequences? How do I feel about it? What can I learn from it? How can I improve it? Seek honest and constructive feedback from others who know you well and care about you. Listen to their opinions without being defensive or dismissive. Thank them for their input and consider their suggestions. Be open to new information and perspectives that challenge your assumptions and beliefs. Be willing to admit when you are wrong or ignorant. Be curious and eager to learn from different sources and experiences. Review your progress and achievements regularly. Celebrate your successes and acknowledge your failures. Learn from both and use them as motivation to grow and improve. 2. Self-acceptance. This means accepting ourselves as we are, without denying or disowning any aspect of our being. It also means acknowledging our strengths and weaknesses, our successes and failures, our feelings and thoughts. To build this practice, Brandon suggests the following tips. Make a list of all the positive and negative qualities that you possess. Be honest and objective. Do not judge or criticize yourself. Just observe and describe yourself as you are. For each quality, write down an example of how it has helped or hindered you in the past or present. Also write down how you can use it to your advantage or overcome it in the future. Repeat the following affirmation to yourself every day. I accept myself unconditionally as I am. Say it out loud or in your mind with conviction and emotion. Feel the acceptance in your body and soul. Practice self-compassion whenever you feel hurt, angry, sad, ashamed, or guilty. Treat yourself as you would treat a friend who is going through a hard time. Be kind, supportive, understanding, and forgiving towards yourself. Express your feelings and thoughts honestly and respectfully to yourself and others. Do not suppress or deny them. Do not let them control you either. Find healthy ways to cope with them, 
such as talking, writing, meditating, exercising, etc. 3. Self-responsibility. This means taking charge of our own life and not blaming others or circumstances for our problems. It also means being accountable for our actions, choices, and results. To build this practice, Brandon suggests the following tips. Identify the areas of your life that you have control over and those that you do not. Focus on the former and let go of the latter. Do not waste your time and energy on things that you cannot change or influence. Set realistic and specific goals for yourself in each area of your life that matters to you. Break them down into smaller and manageable steps. Write them down and review them regularly. Take action every day towards achieving your goals. Do not procrastinate or avoid doing what needs to be done. Do not make excuses or complain about the difficulties or obstacles that you face. Just do your best with what you have. Monitor your results and evaluate your performance. Measure your progress against your standards and expectations. Reward yourself for your efforts and accomplishments. Correct your mistakes and learn from your failures. Take responsibility for the consequences of your actions, choices, and results. Do not blame others or circumstances for your problems or failures. Do not take credit for others' achievements or successes either. Own up to your actions and choices, whether they are good or bad. 4. Self-assertiveness. This means expressing ourselves authentically, honestly, and respectfully. It also means standing up for our rights, needs, and values without violating those of others. To build this practice, Brandon suggests the following tips. Identify your rights, needs, and values as a human being. Write them down and prioritize them according to their importance to you. Be clear about what you want and what you do not want in your life. Communicate your rights, needs, and values to others who are relevant to them. Use assertive language such as, I want, I need, I prefer, I feel, etc., rather than passive or aggressive language such as, you should, you must, you are, etc. Listen to the rights, needs, and values of others who are relevant to you. Respect their opinions and feelings, even if they differ from yours. Try to understand their perspectives and motivations. Seek to find common ground and mutual benefit. Negotiate and compromise with others when there is a conflict or disagreement. Do not give in or give up on your rights, needs, and values. Do not force or coerce others to accept your rights, needs, and values either. Find a solution that works for both parties and honors both sides. Say no when you need to. Do not agree to do something that goes against your rights, needs, or values. Do not let others pressure or manipulate you into doing something that you do not want to do. Be firm and polite in refusing requests or demands that are unreasonable or harmful to you. 5. Living purposefully. This means having clear and meaningful goals that guide our actions and decisions. It also means pursuing our passions, talents, and interests, and making a positive contribution to the world. To build this practice, Brandon suggests the following tips. Discover your purpose in life. Ask yourself questions such as, what are you passionate about? What are you good at? What do you enjoy doing? What makes you happy? What gives you a sense of fulfillment? What do you want to achieve in your life? Define your vision for your life. Imagine how you want your life to be in the future. 
Consider all aspects of your life, such as personal, professional, social, spiritual, and so on. Write down your vision in detail and make it as vivid as possible. Align your goals with your purpose and vision. Make sure that your goals are consistent with what you want to do and who you want to be in your life. Make sure that your goals are also smart, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Develop a plan of action for achieving your goals. Outline the steps that you need to take to reach your desired outcomes. Assign deadlines and resources for each step. Anticipate potential challenges and risks and prepare contingency plans for them. Execute your plan of action with passion and persistence. Follow through on your commitments and promises. Do not let fear or doubt stop you from pursuing your dreams. Do not let failure or setback discourage you from trying again. Keep moving forward until you succeed. 6. Personal Integrity This means living in alignment with our principles and convictions. It also means being honest with ourselves and others, keeping our promises, and honoring our commitments. To build this practice, Brandon suggests the following tips. Identify your core values and principles that guide your life. Write them down and rank them according to their importance to you. Be clear about what you stand for and what you will not tolerate in your life. Evaluate your actions and decisions against your values and principles. Ask yourself questions such as, Are my actions and decisions consistent with my values and principles? Do they reflect who I am and what I believe in? Do they enhance or diminish my self-esteem? Align your actions and decisions with your values and principles. If you find any discrepancy or conflict between them, resolve it as soon as possible. Change your actions or decisions if they violate your values or principles. Change your values or principles if they are outdated or irrelevant. Be honest with yourself and others at all times. Do not lie, cheat, steal, or deceive anyone for any reason. Do not hide or distort the truth for any purpose. Do not pretend to be someone or something that you are not. Keep your promises and honor your commitments to yourself and others. Do not make promises that you cannot or will not keep. Do not break or cancel commitments that you have made without a valid reason. Do what you say you will do when you say you will do it. Brandon illustrates each of these practices with examples from his own life and from the lives of his clients and students. He also provides practical exercises and guidelines for applying these principles in daily life. He shows how these practices can help us overcome various psychological problems, such as anxiety, depression, guilt, shame, anger, addiction, and so on. He also shows how these practices can enhance our relationships, work performance, creativity, happiness, and self-respect. The Six Pillars of Self-Esteem is a book that can change your life for the better. It can help you develop a more positive and realistic view of yourself and your potential. It can help you achieve your goals and fulfill your dreams. It can help you live a more authentic and satisfying life. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more book reviews and summaries. Also, feel free to leave a comment below with your thoughts or questions about this book or any other book that you would like me to review. Until next time, remember, you are worthy of happiness.
You are capable of coping with life's challenges. You have the power to create your own destiny. You have the potential to be your best self. You have the right to be proud of who you are. You have the responsibility to live consciously, accept yourself, take charge of your life, express yourself authentically, pursue your purpose, and maintain your integrity. These are the six pillars of self-esteem. Practice them every day, and watch your life transform for the better.